Hello, everybody. In Con here, bringing you another episode of Smite Weekly. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about today. We got a couple controversies. We got a big figurehead leaving the high res scene. But first off, guys, this video is brought to you by our 40. Thousand March gem giveaway guys if you want a chance to win those gems you can enter down in the description below through the normal link I might post it in the comments as well Normal stuff like following twitch Twitter YouTube all that good stuff We're gonna have five winners of 8,000 gems from that 40,000 gem giveaway and those winners will be picked at the end of the month Now let's get into the video So first off guys, we have seen one of the longest running Faces at high res one of the most known people over at the company is going to be leaving guys and that is dry bear Dry bear tweeted out today was my last day at high res as I say a bittersweet goodbye to my studio family and embark on my own business journey I'll be jumping into creating content full-time with daily videos streaming guides and more see you there uh, for most of the Community this was pretty expected. I don't think anybody really knew that this was coming and in this tweet He also linked uh, as well to a new website that he has that he's gonna be using and you can see where he extends out This he talks about how he wants to be going into content creation streaming five to seven days a week He wants to revive the YouTube channel and get back into the content creation side as well as other side project That he's gonna be working behind the scenes that he hasn't announced yet if you're interested in reading all this It'll be down in the description but for the most part, it talks about wanting to be more interactive with people, being able to help people, that, 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 that more personal interaction uh, with community members and, and not necessarily being so much behind the scenes anymore, but being in the front and helping people achieve what they want to do, whether it be in game development uh, or basically anything in life. And so that's what Dry Bear will be focusing on and he will definitely, I know, be missed from the community uh, in the high res spaces, he's worked on basically everything at this point, from Smite back in the day to to mobile games to Paladins to all kinds of stuff. He's been uh, all over the board working on different projects at high res, so he will be sorely missed, and he will be possibly in pro. I've already seen him streaming, so you can expect to see him live on his channels very soon if you haven't already seen him live. All right, guys, this next little part is kind of a, a PSA slash warning slash knowledge tidbit uh, about account linking in Smite and unlinking accounts. Be very, very careful, guys. There's been a lot of people reporting. There's been a lot of Reddit posts lately. If you unlink your account, you can lose absolutely, and in fact, you probably will lose absolutely everything on one of your accounts, guys. So you got to be very careful. We had a Reddit post this week. Please, please, please do not unlink your Xbox account. For those who don't know, you'll lose all of your progress, all of your skins, and start back at level one. And there's been a lot of people that have been that that this has been happening to. I've seen it happen to viewers. I've seen it happen to subs. Uh, an example of something that you should see pop up, guys, when you're trying to unlink your account is this it'll say warning you will no longer be able to use this account to store progression and this uh instance on nintendo so you lose game progression and history you, you lose game content you lose all kind of stuff you should get this warning if you're trying to unlink an account uh whether you're linking your pc or xbox or, or a switch to something uh you should get some sort of warning guys uh so please for those that yeah, maybe have thought about it and haven't done it be careful and understand that if you unlink your account, stuff's going to get wiped. Uh, it's going to be gone. Uh, we've seen a lot of people be very upset about this. And as far as I'm aware, nobody that I know of that has done this has gotten any of their stuff back, regardless of how many hundreds of skins they have bought. Um, so please pay attention to that. And on a side note, with linking, we've seen some other issues, regardless of uh, uh, the wiping of accounts. We saw Aquarius tweet out this week as well saying, I linked my Smite Switch account to PC Smite and now I can't play on the PC. All the gods are gone and the play button doesn't work and messages slash party invites don't work and are extremely delayed. 
Does anybody know a fix? Upon which I do not know a fix, but we are seeing a lot of issues with linking of people not being able to play. If you try to unlink, you lose all of your stuff. So just be very careful. Make sure everything that you're doing with linking or unlinking is exactly the way it's supposed to be. And please know the consequences of doing things like unlinking. This is just my big PSA to please be careful because I've had people lose like 500 skins and that's so much money, it blows my brain, that sucks. Now that we've gotten some of the sad news out of the way with community figures leaving and people losing accounts and stuff, how about we get into something a lot less sad? We've got the final official update on the start dates for the competitive scene, guys. Mark your calendars, as the Smite Pro Twitter would say. SCL starts March 11th, SML starts March 12th, and the SPL will start March 28th. They are, these are the official start dates, guys in stone they will be starting during these times so if you're interested in any of those particular leagues guys whether what you want to watch your favorite teams or your favorite players that is when all of that will be starting i know a lot of people have been struggling to find those dates so i wanted to make sure that everybody has them because i believe there was a an estimated date that we talked about last time and i do believe it ended up getting changed from our last video and these are the new official dates that they will actually uh, be staying with and using so that's when the spl will be starting as well as the SML and SCL. In other pro league news, guys, we actually saw something that I think is really cool. Uh, we saw we saw Skillshot Media, which is the esports off branch of High Res Studios. We have seen them pair up with a local hospital, guys, and they're going to be giving uh, a better doctoral. Uh, programs for the SPL, SCL players, for Paladins players. As you can see here, they're going to be, they partnered with the Northside Hospital Sports Medicine Network, uh, and they are going to be working with each other to make sure that the pro esports players within the high res league are getting appropriate medical attention. Uh, they're going to get uh, benefits like traditional athletes are going to get from things like nutritional uh, specialists, exercise, rest, uh, optimum performance. They're going to be talking about how to avoid injury and if they get injured, what kind of things they can do. And they are going to have a, a personal doctor assigned to them for their leagues to be able to do this kind of thing. Uh, I think it's super awesome. It's a great opportunity. I have the link down to this whole thing down below, guys. Uh, but basically just making sure that the players are as healthy as possible, giving them the opportunities to be as healthy as possible. Uh, I think this is particularly important for things like the SPL with all the players moving to Atlanta, um, being able to work that closely with the hospital to make sure that players can have checkups or if a player, you know, hurts their wrist. It kind of seems silly injury in esports, but like a wrist injury, all of a sudden you're like, in a lot of trouble, right? So the same ideas are there. Uh, I think things like nutrition and exercise are going to be super crucial. Uh, I mean, it's just good for you overall. And I think that it's really good in esports. And honestly, it'll make you a better player. So I'm glad that that's all happening. I think it's the right direction for esports as a whole. And that's really cool that Hi-Res is doing that. We've also seen, guys, some increased advertising for Smite, which I think is super awesome. I think they're making a push now that the Nintendo Switch is officially launched in free-to-play. They're making a push on some of their uh, advertising uh, different areas, and I want to share a couple of those. One, we got a new trailer release for Smite, so I want to show you guys just a little bit of that now. So that trailer was pretty cool and that advertising with the trailer combined with they have a uh, advertisement on the bounty board system on Twitch for those that don't know uh, streamers can have a system called bounty board which basically is a place where sometimes sponsorships pop up that you can go play a game for an hour or something as a streamer you put hashtag sponsored in your title smite has appeared on that board. So if you've seen a bunch of streamers that maybe don't stream Smite normally uh, coming by and playing the game with hashtag sponsored in their title, that's because that high res basically uh, put it up on the board and we're paying streamers to come and play their game, uh, which is another great form of advertisement. So I'm glad between the trailer and the bounty board system that Smite is getting advertised. And this is probably two of the more like 
apparent within the community advertisings that I've seen done in a long time, which is awesome. And I just wish that it, I hope it keeps, I hope it, keep, hope it keeps going, you know, don't stop. Don't stop the advertising. That's like two, like back to back and they're great. Keep it going. <laughs> Finally, guys, I wanted to end with a fun little question here. There was a pretty popular Reddit post this week about uh, the most requested gods from each pantheon. Somebody put together a list of what they have thought uh, that the Reddit wanted the most from their god request. And I wanted to see and ask you guys, if you could have one god in the game, what would it be? Some of the more popular requests were from the Arthurian pantheon, getting Mordred, getting Maui from the Polynesian pantheon, or Papa Legba from the Voodoo pantheon. Uh, all of those I think would be awesome. For me personally, I have wanted Set in the game for the longest time. And luckily for me, Set is literally getting added this year. We already know that Set and Horus are coming. Uh, they also might be a package deal, gods. We might see a double god release. Not 100% confirmed on that. That's just me spreading rumors. But I have heard rumors about a double god release when Set and Horus come out. But I wanted to bring that question to you guys. If you could put one god into Smite, whether it's a pantheon that exists already or even a pantheon that doesn't exist, I would love to know what you guys think about that down in the comments down below. It's a great place to, you know, see if other people are feeling like they want the same gods in the game because there's so many different pantheons and things out there that aren't even necessarily in Smite yet that could still have a bunch of awesome stuff. That's it for us this week, guys, here on Smite Weekly. I hope you learned something here today. Hope you learned a little bit about the community, about advertising, about the Pro League, whatever it may be, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is a fun series to make. I enjoy it. So I hope you guys like it too. I'm hoping this week to maybe have a guide build video out. Uh, for physical characters, uh, so we'll see if that gets done, but it's on my to-do list to do about like a generic bruiser build since uh, Hybrid bruiser builds are so strong and so popular right now I wanted to kind of put a guide out there for you guys in terms of that Don't forget to enter into the 40,000 gem giveaway down below guys. Thank you so much and as always have a twitching day y'all Thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. And if you like the channel, go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell, guys, in order to get notifications for our uploads. If you want to go the extra mile to help support the Twitchiest community, you can always go to our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash incon and use your Twitch Prime sub there. It's a great way to help support the community. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a twitching day, y'all.